Welcome! In front of me is a Realme GT2 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, for this we will need a, another device. Any kind of Android will work. I'm using some cheap uh, Redmi for this, but like I said, any other Android will function. And another thing that we'll need is internet connection. And that's it. So, to get started, uh, I'm gonna just quickly talk about this device. You can see it is locked uh, using a pattern. And obviously if I close, it's gonna tell me to verify the Google account. And typically there's no way around it, unless we just bypass this. Anyway, now we can just get straight into it. So, if you're at the beginning of the setup, meaning like right here, just go through the setup till you get to, there we go, actually that's where I wanna be, uh, to the network connection, connect to some kind of network, once you have connected to it, you're going to click on this eye icon and then you're going to select share nearby, turn on, need help sharing. And I need to quickly check, whoops, where we need to go. So we're going to tap on this, these three dots and we're going to select share article. From here, you want to select messages new message it looks like there's a sim card in here but i'm just gonna type some random number in boom good enough confirm that and then select whatever is in here I'll select all be nice if i get a keyboard there we go get rid of it and then you want to type in uh www.worldwide <laughs> Hey, brain fart, uh, that youtube.com. Now, the reason I'm saying the beginning of the W crap is because if you don't put that in, uh, you won't get YouTube in its own application. It will open up in a pop-up view without the, without basically, oops, without this. So you want to start off with this then, youtube.com. Now, like I said, if you don't put the beginning in here, uh, it will open up in pop-up view and this basically breaks the process. So you'll need to reformat the device and then start off from the beginning and actually put that in. Uh, because from the pop-up view, it actually won't allow us to access what we need. So anyway, I'm gonna now send this. So I'll send a message, then we're gonna tap right here, tap to load preview. You wanna tap on the image. From there, I'm gonna navigate to account icon settings and from here we're gonna go to just quickly check it out so we're gonna go into about and from there google privacy policy accept and continue and no thanks no thanks there we go and from here we're gonna navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass So if you need a moment to type this link in, do pause the video. From here, uh, we're scrolling down to this right up here. So Google search app, I'm gonna tap on it to open it up. And then we're gonna tap on the microphone. No thanks. Let's try it again. Now in here, once you open up the, uh, once well, the device starts listening to you, you want to say, open the clone phone. I believe that's the term, though there might have been some change. So I will see if it opens it up. That's great. If it gives me some bullcrap results, then I'll try to say like alternatives uh, to try to open this up. We'll see. Open the clone phone. Okay, so that's not it. Open the phone clone. Do I need to say app maybe? Open the clone phone app. The what? Open the clone phone app. 
Technically, that's what we're looking for, but it needs to actually open it. Open the phone clone up. Nope. Open phone clone. Ah, there we go. So it's a phone clone now. Uh, like I said, it might. It took me a couple of tries to figure out which one what it was because, like I was aware, uh, the term that you need to tell the device has changed. The app, the actual app name is Clone Phone, uh, but we need to say Open Phone Clone, and without the app. Um, so yeah, it, it. I'm pretty sure it was done deliberately to to kind of try to break this process, but as you can obviously see it still opens it up if you are persistent enough anyway once you have your app open we're gonna navigate into the settings we're gonna enable this we're gonna go back it's gonna give us more pop-ups so again we're gonna continue enabling everything that it throws at us once it stops throwing crap at us we're gonna then go to uh, this is new device I'm gonna select allow other Android and we're good to go with this device so, move it to the side. Now, like I said, we're gonna need that other Android device. So, there it is. And from here, we're gonna navigate to Play Store. Oh, there we go. And we're gonna look for this up. So, like to search um, where's the whatever there's no enter on this so from here uh, once you search for this term as you can see it comes up right at the top uh, we're looking for the Apple version I believe even the OnePlus will work below that but as you can see there's three alternatives of it so there is Realme, Apple, OnePlus and uh, I think that's it but anyway, I'm gonna go with the Apple one. I'm gonna select install. Open it up. I agree. And here we have more things to enable, so boom, check it on. And settings. Next. Start migrating. Again, settings. Click on the clone phone app, again toggle it on, go back. Okay, again, same thing. Come on. Okay. And then it asks us for access to several different things. Camera, because we need to scan QR code. Uh, calendar, I'm not exactly sure why it needs calendar, but I guess it needs access to literally everything, considering we can copy well, virtually everything from this device. Now let's like turn on. For some stupid reason, it does need location, although it shouldn't. Uh, that is one of those things that actually it shouldn't need, but whatever. Spyware everywhere while using the app. And as you can see, it turns on camera. Hello. Camera. There we go. Okay, so now it's working. And all we do is hover over it. It will start connecting these two devices. I'm gonna select OK. And in here, as you can see, I have two different things selected. In your case, depending on uh, what the device is selected and how much data is on it, it might select plenty other things, but it doesn't matter. You want to deselect basically everything. I'm gonna select 
pictures just because I think that's the smallest file. Although, let's see. Oh, never mind. Uh, me store is the smallest one in my case. So that's what I'm gonna set. Actually, no, no, that's megabytes, not kilobytes. My bad. Is there anything in kilobytes? Calendar is 16 megabytes. So I guess that's what I'm gonna go with. And deselect uh, this, select that calendar. Oh, come on. Let's try it again. There we go. So as you can see, I have only a calendar selected right now. I selected just a single application that takes a least amount of space just to save on time. Which app you select obviously doesn't matter, but the bigger the file size, the longer it will take to transfer it over. So that's why I selected the smallest one. From there, select start migrating. So it's done on here, so I'm gonna click done. It's gonna finish up on here, so just give it a moment. Unless there is some problem with calendar app, which wouldn't surprise me. Ah, there we go. So the finish. So from there, we're going to select it done. And as you can probably realize, we are now at the very end of the setup where you get to select your navigation method. So I'm going to choose gestures. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select skip setting up. Oops, not what I wanted. Skip uh, setting up passcode. So later. Done. Agree. Come on. And as you can see, we have now access to our home screen. Now, there's one last thing that you want to do, which is navigate into the settings. Scroll all the way down to additional settings, then select backup and reset. Reset phone. Erase all data. Erase all data and press on that button once again. Once you do, it will perform a factory reset of your device, removing any kind of protection that is still present on this device because there is still a chance that there is something left over. So by doing so, you will fully unlock the device. And this is the last step. I'm not going to go through it on the video just because it's honestly fully automatic. Once it's finished, you're back in the setup screen. And at that point, you can go through the setup however you want. Did I just confirm it? Yes, I did. Anyway, uh, so it's actually going to go through it. Uh, by mistake, I pressed on it. Just wanted to light up the screen. But anyway, so that is how you'd bypass the Google verification on this device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.